we're holding it now we're going to release it straight through the ball so angle straight hey golfers welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's video we're going to take a look at holding some lag in your downswing okay think of it as holding your wrist angles instead of throwing them out at the start of the downswing so that's what we're going to look at today we're going to look at how something you might be doing in your golf swing simply cannot let you do this is also another reason why a lot of golfers get to the top with a bent left arm and a simple toilet roll a used one hang with me on this can actually be really beneficial for your golf swing okay guys so let's get started and before we do please don't forget to hit the like button hit the subscribe button and let me know in the comments where you're watching from and let's get started so before we get talking about lag or wrist angles in the downswing and how we can hold them for longer and not throw them away, we need to understand why we need to do it and what is it. So basically, think of it this way at the top of your backswing. I create roughly a 90 degree angle between my left arm and the shaft, okay? Now, as we start down, what we're gonna see from like really good ball strikers, low handicap golfers, tour pros, is from here, they're gonna arrive at a position where their hands are in front of their right thigh, and they've sort of maintained this angle, okay? Shaft will be parallel to the ground. It'll still have this angle here. Now, I've talked about this in previous videos, the early release, and in reality, it is something that most golfers do across the world. It is a very common problem. We know that can lead to fat strikes, thin strikes, even because we lose these angles early in the downswing this way it gets the club by the time our hands get to the right thigh the club is very close to the ground so in order not to hit the ground we could come up out of posture to try and fix it so we don't smash into the ground way before again talked on that and touched on that in other videos but there is something in your golf swing that could make this actually impossible to do and it starts at your setup Right? And if this thing is wrong, then there's no physical way that you can hold that lag like the tour pros and like those really, really good ball strikers. So let's take a look at what that is. So the thing that could really be holding you back from holding on to these wrist angles in the downswing and also throwing them out early could very well be, and I want you to check this, how you hold the club with your left hand, your lead hand. So for right hand, go for your right hand. Now, Watch what happens if I make, say, a correct grip. And I'll touch on this in a second. It's kind of in the fingers. I sit. Now, if I can hinge the club up to where it's parallel to the ground, okay? Now, watch from this angle. You can see that I've created that lag, essentially, here, okay? And that means that if I hold it correctly in my lead hand, I can hinge it up to 90 degrees or parallel to the ground and I have already got that angle, okay? Now, what I see a lot of golfers do who have this issue, hold the club too much in their palm, this way. So if I'm holding it here in my palm, watch the same thing, try and hinge it, that's as far as I can go. From here, now I remember at the start of this video I said that some golfers will bend their left arm at the top because of this issue. We'll watch, I can get the club to 90 now, even though I can't hinge it any further. I can bend my arm, look, this way. So what I've done is I've bent it to bring it up. Now let's take that to the top of the backswing. There is the bent left arm, all because of how it was held in this hand in the first place, okay? So let's check that grip first, okay? What I want you to do, Hold the club at a 45 degree angle, sorry, here at this angle in front of you. And we're gonna take a point, I like to do it on the shaft so you can see it. So from here in my hand, down through to the base of this finger, okay? Then we grab it with the fingers and bring this hand over. So I'll do that on the grip, here, there. These three fingers are really, really important in the golf swing. We grab it there. Bring our hand over to where the V or the crease would be pointing at our right shoulder, okay? Now, I know the left hand sometimes can be a little tricky. 
but when it's gripped this way in the fingers we can hinge the club without having to bend this arm in the palm can't do it gotta bend it so that is another reason why a lot of people can't hold on to the lag in the downswing and they have to throw it out simply because of this all right so run through the grip one more time just so you're clear on it and a little test to make sure it's correct club in front of us this way through their hand this way grab it with your fingers and then bring the left hand over okay now i can hinge that no problem all right so i want you to try that the other little test i want you to try and you've probably seen this before is once your left hand grip is good if you take these three fingers off you should still be able to you can see it there you should still be able to hold this golf club in the palm take those off i can't it's going to fall out all right really really important this not just even for lag but for club face control so many things even speed as well so really make sure that left hand's good right and now what i'm going to do is show you how this toilet roll i'm probably laughing at the start but it makes sense in a second this toilet roll can really help us hold on to these angles and then release them at the right time all right so let's take a look so in order to do this drill correctly we just need a club i'm not going to hit shots with this by the way it's really just a feeling to give you and see how you hold these angles a seven or an eight iron okay and they use toilet roll and i know you probably think i'm mad and i finally lost it but hang with me and you'll see right what we're going to do place the toilet roll over the end of the golf club and i want you to grab your golf club at the very bottom of the grip and that's there's no reason for that other than once we're up here i don't want it to to stick on the rubber okay just really give you a feeling now if I get to the top of my backswing, the toilet roll would fall down to my hands, okay? So we've kind of got that angle now that our left hand grip. Another thing is, let me know in the comments, by the way, how your left grip was. Could you do the test and did you check it and actually realize that that is in the palm? I'd be very curious to know because a lot of golfers do it and it is a real killer, as I say, not just for this, but other things. So drop it in, let me know and be very, very curious. And obviously this will really help you all right so top we've got our back so we've got that angle the kind of 90 degree between shaft and left arm now an early release would be when the and i'll do a bit quick here this would throw that toilet roll out towards the end of the grip kind of early in the downswing that way see that so here and that's obviously not what we want that would get us to that position with your right hand or the hands in front of the right thigh with the club very close to the ground again this could all be due to your left hand so you'll know once you fix that all right now here's the feeling with our good left hand we want to hold the toilet roll to the point where the club gets in front of our right thigh see that i've been able to do it now if i lose it too soon there we go it's really going to give you a feeling it's mad like you think about something like that can help your golf swing it's crazy but cool as well so top down hold it now here's where it gets cool you want to from here release the toilet roll and the club to the point this way both arms straight all right it's pretty cool how that works isn't it so here hold it you're not going to hold it forever that'd be no good that's shanks and can't actually square the face up from there it's serious amount of turn down with the left wrist but so we're not holding it forever we're getting to here and now we are releasing it straight out there okay honestly try this get the left hand sorted get this Get the old toilet roll out and go here feel it hold it release it okay if you're struggling with strike because we know that this losing angles causes the fats the thins lack of distance high weak ball flight no good okay 
So once you feel that a few times, I want you to actually try and hit some shots. You could leave a toilet roll on there. You probably not want to bring a, a toilet roll to the driving range in practice. People will think you're mad. But when you're striping them down the range, they'll not think you're mad. Okay. So here, feeling. Because the toilet roll gave it. We've got that angle. We're holding it. Now we're going to release it straight through the ball. So angle, straight. Okay, so you imagine that toilet roll would have went from, as I started down, went down to the end, strike, and through. Okay, so a little bit of a mad one, I know, <laughs> toilet roll, but honestly, the big thing about this is check that left hand. If you are doing, if your left hand is in your palm like that, as you swing to the top, first of all, you can't create that 90 degree without bending your arm, and you have no chance of actually keeping it into the downswing. You're gonna have to throw those angles out. Better left hand here. You can hold it, release both arms straight in this position. Okay, guys? So as always, thank you so much. Let me know how you get on in the comments. I've been absolutely blown away. I know I say it every time, but it really does amaze me. And I thank all of you so much for all your comments, your likes, your subscriptions. And I tell you, can't tell you how much it does for my little YouTube channel, which obviously I'm trying to grow. So I'm happy to bring you guys along on the journey. All right. So before we go, as always, please don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit in the comments. Let me know how your left hand grip was. Maybe even where you're watching from and if there's anything that I can help you out with. See you soon, guys.